So I want to take a look at <clears throat> a more completed email campaign and show you a few more features. Uh, in this little gray edit box, there's a four arrow cross bar here. And this function, when you click on that, will allow you to reorder uh, cont content in your email campaign and you just simply click and drag and it's reordering each little post which is a pretty cool feature so um, the other thing I wanted to show you is how to link in a um, email address so I'm gonna click edit and I'm going to paste in an email address I'm going to swipe it under insert. I hit link. But instead of linking to a URL, I click the tab email. And I paste in the email address and I can give it a subject. Contact um, email campaign. This is so when somebody emails me from my campaign, I can have a better idea of, of how they how they reached me and they hit insert. So this is now a linkable address and if you click it, it pops up. Let's move this over here. It pops up in an email and I see contact from email campaign. Great. So that's a nice little feature to use. And then I'm gonna hit save changes. I also wanna go over how to uh, embed <coughs> images with um, alt text. So I have a format here. I used the gallery format. I have three images with text underneath. I'm going to click my edit button and I can see that the image has been placed, my history, and I actually added alt text so it's just a description of what the image is. So if the images are not downloaded in the email client it will let the viewer know this is an image of my history. You can also link the image to, um, to, a, to, to a URL address. I'm going to remove this image and give you an example again. Choose file. I pick the image from my browser. I add image of my history and I'm going to make this a link. I'm going to go to my website, link it to my portfolio, and hit insert. So now you'll notice if in the email campaign, when I hover over the image, it turns to a little hand and it's a linkable image just like text is linkable. So I, I had already done this for all three images, so I simply hit Save Changes. So now I feel good about my campaign, and I'm going to preview. In the upper right corner, you see a green button that says Preview. So when I click this, I can see a preview of my email with all the gray box, without the gray boxes on top. So I get a better idea of what my campaign looks like. And when you feel good about your campaign, you can click I'm done, return to snapshot. You can review the information here. If there's something that needs to be changed or corrected, you just click the edit button. You can change the campaign name or the subject email address. Um, and I can see the content. Now I'm ready to define my recipients. So I click define recipients and you're going to pick a subscriber list and in another video we're going to go over in depth how to add lists on uh, subscribers and lists to your email campaign. But for this one I'm just going to click off my one list and then I hit next. And then I can see I have two recipients. If I had 100 people in that list, it would show all 100. 
I can test and define delivery. And this is something you're going to want to do for any campaign that you create. You're going to want to send yourself a test before you actually schedule and send the live campaign out. So you can just enter your email address here, or if you've already tested it once before, it'll be in the drop down. And you say send the test. It will let you know that it was successfully sent to in the email address that was populated. And then you can go check your email address and your client, review it, check on, click on all the links, make sure everything's linking and going to where it needs to go to. And then when you're happy, you would simply come back in, step out for a second. You would uh, log back into your account. You can click on your campaign. I see test and divine delivery. I've already tested. <clears throat> So I'm going to skip the test and then you come to the tab to uh, the step to schedule your campaign. And you have two choices here. You can deliver the campaign immediately and it will send a confirmation to the web to the uh, email address you have in here or you can click off to deliver the campaign at a different time. So if you're working ahead it could be a Thursday or a Friday afternoon and you want to schedule your campaign to go out first thing Monday morning. You would simply select the month, day, year and the time that you would want your campaign to go out. I usually think first thing in the morning when everybody is at work is a great time. And then you would hit the tab schedule the campaign. And at that point, you will uh, pay for the campaign. It'll give you a breakdown of exactly what it's going to cost and then step you through the last step to deliver the campaign. And I think this completes the basic um, steps to adding content, uh, adding images, links, and developing your campaign. Thank you.